Hello, welcome to Get In The Mix. My name's Jake, I'm one of the ambassadors here for Native Instruments. Today we're going to be going through the new update from Tractor, which is going to be the 2.11.0 update, which includes the new step sequencer and also the Ableton Link. Today we're just going to go over the step sequencer because it's the quickest and easiest one to get through. I'm going to do another video later on to do the Ableton Link, sort of showing you how it all works together and you can get it all syncing up quite nicely. So to start off, we're just going to go through the basic remix deck that you know quite well. So you always have your samples loaded in the top and then you've got your pads down the bottom obviously to select those. When you get update to the new um, tractor update you can press shift and the remix deck and that will then take you through to step sequencer mode which as you can see along here you've got when you start off with you'll end up with along all your channels one to eight steps and as you can see what I'm doing here you can change the length of that pattern just by using your normal loop encoder along the bottom and you can change the length of the pattern on there. So what we're going to do today is have it for the full 16 just to make it a little bit easier. And then as you can see on here, the highlighted pads are the ones that are going to be the ones that are currently playing and then your dimmed out ones are ones that aren't actually currently in step sequence. So I've just got a little pattern laid out along here as you can hear. And like I say, you can uh, basically change up how you have it, have it sounding. You can add some extra bits in. See there, just throw a few of the extra bits in. Same with your stems and your remix decks, you've got full control over each of the uh, banks basically, four channel faders, and you can bring each element back in as you want it to. Along each of the banks, so for each element, you've got your kicks, normally your claps, snares, and then like effects or some extra samples along the bottom there. For each one, if you go onto your rotary encoders down the bottom, you can change the sample. So as you can hear on there, I'm just currently changing that one. Let's bring up a bit. You've also got a filter on there, so you can filter it. High pass, low pass, as you always have. You've actually got a pitch change as well, so you can really tweak the sound to how you want it to go. And you've also got an effect send as well, so you can actually send each one to the full effects along the top there. So for example, if you just wanted to do like a nice little clap today, you can bring everything back in. Throw on a clap. And as you can hear, just the clap is being affected. And just like that, that's how you incorporate the step sequencer into your current set. So, as I said, I'm going to do a longer video sort of going over the full features of the whole entire update, basically. So you can have the Ableton link with the step sequencer. And also we're going to show you how you can also incorporate it with machine as well. So keep an eye on our page. We're going to be doing a lot more videos hopefully coming soon as well. A lot on the new native instrument stuff as well as a few other products as well. So like I say, keep an eye on our page. Give us a thumbs up and also subscribe. Thank you very much.